Hi guys, welcome to the New Dimensions YouTube channel. Your host is Michael Mansaliova. I'm going to look at examination techniques as it regards the Bloom's taxonomy testing levels. To start with, uh, you should know that Bloom's taxonomy is a framework used by uh, most educators, uh, examiners, to categorize learning objectives into different levels of complexities. And uh, furthermore, uh, be uh, assured that when creating exam questions, uh, examiners uh, use it uh, to help them in designing questions that assess various levels of thinking skills. Uh, it has a number of uh, uh, testing levels. I'm going to go through them one by one to start with uh, remembering. Uh, at this level, it involves recalling facts, concepts, or information. Exam questions at this level might ask students to list define or recall information. For instance, a question might ask, what are the four major causes of World War II? So that is uh, simply requiring you to remember and write. Uh, it might not uh, require you to or require you to maybe say something that you really understand but uh, you might just uh, regurgitate what you had earlier uh, seen and that is uh, merely asking you to remember. This level of testing is uh, actually what we have gone through, all of us, at lower levels of our education, especially at the lower primary level, uh, where you are asked to just remember things and then uh, you have uh, for the teacher or the instructor gauge you that you have achieved. The other one is understanding. This level focuses on comprehension and grasping the meaning of uh, information. Okay? So meaning uh, that uh, at this level, such questions as uh, uh, explain ideas or concepts in their own words or you can be asked to summarize information uh, this is the understanding level okay so you are trying to uh, you are trying to instruct is trying to see if you are able to comprehend and grasp meaning of uh, information for example you can be asked uh, can you describe the process of photosynthesis in plants okay so the instructor in that career case, career case is trying to see whether you are able to comprehend and grasp the meaning of the synthesis and able to explain it. Okay, that's what is being asked here. Typically in the exam, again this one is uh, the second level after the remembering level of testing that uh, instructors or examiners uh, would like to use in trying to assess your um, your skills. The third level, following to that of understanding, is what we call applying. Okay, this level involves using learned information in new situation or context, meaning that what you have learned, okay, is supposed to now be uh, a means by which you are going to uh, solve problems okay uh, going by what you have as uh, skills and knowledge uh, look at the new situation and see whether that knowledge can be used to actually solve problems questions may ask students to solve problems apply theories to practical scenarios or demonstrate their understanding by executing a task for instance given a set of mathematical equations solve for x that is a good example of um, application uh, level of testing so want to see whether what the skill you have learned 
are able to be applied in resolving um, a task or solving a problem that is application real okay we also have uh, the next one to application is analyzing at this level students break down information into parts and examine its components so you unpack the whole problem and see if you can dwell into uh, the individual component that makes the whole if you're able to understand the small components then you can better understand the whole uh, uh, the whole scenario that is before you in this particular case questions may require students to compare and contrast ideas or identify patterns or analyze relationships between concepts that is what is required of you at this particular level okay so you atomize meaning that uh, you break the the problem into its smallest unit if you are able to understand this smallest unit then you can understand how they better work together to make the whole so um, you can be asked questions like compare and contrast the themes in two different novels so for instance if you are looking at the novels those who are done literature in english for instance uh, you can be asked such questions that you're analyzing you have read through the, the book now we want you to uh, see if you're able to uh, compare and contrast maybe between two themes and then come up with um, uh, a, a, a show of whether you, or you understand the two scenarios in that manner the next level higher up is uh, evaluating okay so what does this involve evaluating okay so this level involves judgments uh, which are based on criteria and evidence okay judgment that are based basically based on criteria and evidence under this method i said that questions might ask students to assess the validity of arguments okay uh, or evaluate the effectiveness of a solution or justify their opinion okay so that's what uh, is required at this particular uh, case so you are trying to argument your position you are trying to support your po your point by giving evidence of how you come to that particular position uh, questions will be uh, thrown to you in the manner of do you agree or disagree with the author's argument in this article okay so you're more like uh, doing a critique of a particular for instance journal where you are trying to find out um, your position and argument it with the uh, support of evidence or justification okay so that's what happened so you provide the reason for your opinion in other words so that is evaluating so in an exam question when you are told to evaluate it means that you are going to um, uh, maybe use that one to ascertain a certain value you can attach maybe you want to uh, rank uh, these particular uh, situations uh, you want to justify why one should be number one the other one number two number three so you give your opinion and the reasoning for that means that you are evaluating The last level of testing, which is the highest, uh, is where students are gen able to generate uh, something or generate products, generate uh, a good, okay, using their knowledge and skill. Okay, for instance, if you are talking about uh, those who are in engineering, okay, or after they have learned all those um, technical drawing, they have learned all those uh, uh, complex physics uh, um, theories about forces and so on and so forth uh, when they create a product out of that for instance they create uh, a bridge they create a product of any kind and that is uh, what they have created as a result of having learned what they have gone through uh, training okay so questions may be asked of students to develop hypotheses or design experiments compose original pieces 
or propose solution to complex problem. So that is uh, what is uh, required of you when you are being tested on creating level. Okay. For example, design a sustainable city layout, consider environmental and social factors. So when you look at um, our town, for instance, uh, we have been facing a particular problem, perennial problem in terms of floods. Whenever we have uh, uh, a small uh, rainfall, we find that the town center of Osaka city might have uh, uh, some floods uh, being experienced. Okay, the road becomes almost impassable. But uh, we need people to uh, to be innovative and create this particular uh, solution so that this becomes the thing of the past. So if you're able to design maybe an effective drainage system, means that uh, you are being tested as engineers at your creation, creating level. So we want to see that type of innovation, that type of engineering which can solve this problem by creating something that can be workable, okay? So that's what we want. When setting examination questions, it is essential to include in this particular case a variety of questions that span across these levels. So you start looking at um, understanding, look at uh, remembering rather, understanding, application, evaluation, uh, analysis, creating. So um, this particular level of testing also go with the level of education. So when you look at um, the Bloom's taxonomy, it comes in the form of a, a triangle. It comes in the form of a triangle with layers in it. The first layer at the bottom is the remembering. The second layer is understanding. The third layer is application. The fourth layer is uh, 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 analysis. We can have also evaluation following. Then we can have creating at the last level, the top level. So when you look at uh, a, a, a student or a yeah, a student or a pupil. So at the lower level of education, it's more concentrated on testing them on remembering and understanding. As they grow or they move upwards through their uh, education and academic uh, ladder, you find that more and more questions will be tested towards the highest level, which is creating. So that's what happens in this particular case. Little wonder do you uh, uh, do you have uh, a situation? You see that there is a situation whereby you can be talking about the same subject matter, for instance, mathematics. Okay, and uh, you talk about mathematics in grade one, talk about mathematics in grade uh, grade seven, you talk about mathematics in grade uh, twelve, you talk about mathematics when you come to tertiary education. But when it comes to testing, it's the level of testing which matters to differentiate who is in grade 1, who is in grade 7, who is grade 12, who is in tertiary level, okay? So that's what is followed. That is uh, why we have this very important um, Bloom's taxonomy to help us uh, set the level of testing. So that's what I had for you for today. I think you are uh, able to understand. And please, if you don't understand, drop me a line so that um, I can explain further or just uh, email me and then I will explain to you what this means. Okay? Otherwise, uh, goodbye. Thank you for listening. Hope you do, do best in the exam having learned, got this particular knowledge. Bye for now. Thank you for uh, listening and please don't forget to uh, actually subscribe to my channel and like my video.